if you ask somebody with incontinence, if they could choose not to have it or have it, they would choose not to have it. However, it's, they put a pad in, they carry on. They're not necessarily as affected as I have seen people with prolapse. The mental health side of prolapse is, is, is extreme. It, I've, I've experienced it myself. i I hear about it every day from people who are afraid to move, afraid to socialize, afraid to have sex or tell their partners. They feel ashamed. They feel like they've done something wrong. They feel like they're broken. These are all words that I, I hear from them. And so that, again, if we could intervene with pelvic health education and screening ahead of time to have an element of prevention, it, it really could truly transform mental health and physical health. Because when we think also of, as we're aging, getting into perimenopause and menopause, we now have increased risk of, you know, our bone mass, our muscle mass is decreasing, our brain health, our heart health, all the reasons why we need to be exercising. And if we are dealing with a pelvic floor dysfunction and not exercising, we've now even increased those risks even more.